<laughs> now, how did I wind up here? Yeah. Definitely. Sure, but... I feel more courageous when I'm with you. Huh? Let's head back. Now then. 
Listen. What? Yes. <laughs> See you. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Evidently. Certainly. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nice to meet you. Listen. Pardon me. Hmm? Very well. Yes. on and the age of a new king draws nearer.
All right, then. Let's go! But... Close your aim, oh, close your aim. Yeah. Thanks a bunch. Hmm. Truth is, no. Taking that into account. Well then? Yeah. Hey, so... No, no. <laughs> Thank you.
here. Now. A new power. Of course I'd like you to come, but... Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. New power to wield. It's over. Hmm? In those days... It's 
a living hell. Really? Uh, just a fantasy. Sure. Yes. Listen. Don't ever forget that. Therefore, No pain can stop me now. Even then. You there. That's... <laughs> I'm off. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Well then. All right then. Let's go. Right. That's what you want. Painting on you. Let's do it. All right, then. Let's go. All right, then. Let's go! Wow. 
What is it? Amazing. Fancy a bit of info. Want in on this? Just between us.
Good to get I continue to grow. A new ability. However, even so.
berikutnya. Hey, good one. We found Look at that. Watch out. We've been spotted. That was brilliant. All right. How's that? of use. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Well then. All right then. Let's go! We did it. All right.
Listen. All right, then. Mm. Quite an excuse me. Well then. <laughs> All right then. Let's go. Unfortunately. This world.
In any case. <sighs> no. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The announcement is soon. No. It would seem the disaster was averted. Right then. Today's Forden's big announcement. Wonder what he's planning. I guess the church has to have some reaction to all that stuff the king said. Whatever it is, Luis won't be able to just ignore it. This might be a day that goes down in history.
Ladies and gents, lend me your ears. Sanctifex Forden has spoken. The giant face in the sky, the massive rocks appearing throughout the land, and the mysterious voice claiming to be the past king. The Sanctus Church has officially recognized these happenings as the will of His Royal Majesty. <gasps> so it really is His Majesty. And so, as His Majesty has decreed, whoever has gained the greatest trust of the people by the day of decision shall be our new king. This is a historic moment, good citizens. It's revolutionary. It's unprecedented. No matter who you are, you can take the throne. Anyone? Even me? If, and this is a big if, you are the person that all our people trust most in their hearts. Maybe you could be king yourself, eh? You're popular enough. Me? In charge? <laughs> well, that's the last thing this country needs. Right, let's review what we know, shall we? First, the new faces that have appeared on the rock. It shows us who's foremost in the running. We've worked out that much. The top three of the lot are also shown in the sky. Suppose that way you can see their inspiring faces anytime, anywhere. Hold on. How's us common folks supposed to stand a chance against all these upper crusters? Say you do become popular. With your face clear for all to see, surely that'd make you a prime target for assassination. Not quite, friend. Not quite. A valid concern, but one His Majesty prepared for. Popular aspirants, at least those who make it onto the rock, are protected by royal magic. Assassinations off the table. Magic chains will spring to life and bind anyone who tries. I saw it happen with my own eyes to Count Luis's sorry assailant. So, literally anyone could be king? Even a pauper? Or a slave? Or a criminal? But hold on, you mean to say we might not be ruled by Clamart? What does that mean for us? Right, I've said my piece. You know all I know. Now go forth, ladies and gents, and spread the word. Whether you're from our fair capital or the middle of nowhere, the crown's within your grasp. Anyone in the land could be our next king. I heard the announcement. The church has chosen to recognize this face's words as crown sent and shall abide by them. They conceded that one quickly. Though I suppose it's a hard thing to deny, what with the royal palace hanging up there in the clouds. Had they rushed a coronation for his eminence, Forden, it would have dashed any hope of reinstating his highness. A small comfort. I can tell from your face there's some bad news too. Do you recall those chains that froze Alsace in place? It seems that too was part of His Majesty's magic. Plainly, any candidates of sufficient favor cannot be deposed by force. That's not good. No, tis not indeed. This marks Luis as nigh untouchable. I will still seek to find him. Yet... Even should we stand before the man himself, we could not kill him. No! If we can't kill him, then how do we break the curse? What the hell was the king thinking? Grius was trying to save his son. He died for it. Even so, without this magic, no aspirant would be safe from assassination, leaving Luis to dominate through sheer martial strength. <sighs> we appear to be at an impasse. Everyone, have you seen Maria? Did something happen? I checked her room and she isn't there. She wouldn't just leave without telling anyone. I... I couldn't deal with losing both of them. I... I'll go look for her. You... you will? Thank you. 
When I think of what might happen to her. If she left her room on her own, she must have had some reason. Let's go search for her. If we head into town, we might find some clues. Where? You're kidding! Whatever. Hey! All right, then. Everyone was worried about you. Sorry. Papa hasn't come home. And I always come here whenever I'm feeling lonely. One time he came here to get me. I remember because he called my name. But... I pray. And he still doesn't come back. Maybe because the cathedral is broken? Maria... Miss Fabian says Papa can't come home anymore. But I know... Papa's gone away. He's gone somewhere I'll never see him again. Hasn't he? <sighs> it's... It's going to be so lonely. The loneliest it's ever been. But... I have to be strong, don't I? But if it gets any lonelier, I... I don't know if I can do it. I'm sorry. I promised we'd all come back together. Why does everyone always leave? Mum was sick. The King and Prince are gone. And now Papa? Why does everyone always leave? Is it my fault? I really did my best to be a good girl, but... That's not why. He's right, Maria. It's not your fault at all. Listen to me, all right? Your father, he... He was fighting a very bad man. We were with him, but... We couldn't protect him. I'm sorry. I remember Papa saying something like that. He said, a really bad man might be our king. Is that part of it? It'll work out somehow. I'm sure of it. Hmm. I hope the next king is as nice as you. Then maybe things won't always be so sad. I 
think I understand the King's intentions now. Maybe this is the sort of tragedy he was trying to end. Maybe he wanted a world where the crown goes to one who acts like a king ought to, not whoever's willing to spill the most blood to do it. You may be right, but much as we wish it, this is not a fight that might be ended through words alone. Even so, we have to try. Sit down for some supper together. Thank you for finding her. It looks like she's worked things out. She's a strong girl. But we've more troubles ahead. How now do we resolve this curse upon his highness? If Luis is the curse's caster, we've got to kill him to dispel it. So how do we do that if he's shielded by the king himself? I wish I could report back, but the prince is still asleep, and we're losing time. I don't think going back to the village is an option. We cannot lose faith yet. There must be some further course we can pursue. Well, there's the church's announcement. I expect they're trying to stop a wave of rival candidates from flooding the standings. I doubt the church would accept this popularity contest if they didn't already have a plan to game it. True enough. I can only wonder at their aims. For today, we should content ourselves with rest and recovery. Sorry, did I wake you? Laying here, I always end up caught in my own thoughts. Grius and Maria. The Prince. <sighs> Just thinking in circles again. Not good, is it? Let's think about it together. <laughs> Keeping me company, are you? <laughs> You really are a strange one. My kind of strange. That book. Is that the novel you're always carrying around? <laughs> Feels like months ago now that I spotted you buried in it on the carriage ride to the fort. Wanna read it? If you don't mind, since we finally some room to breathe. Interesting. It's written through the lens of a fictional land. This bit's about the utopia's security. In this world, there is no blood-stained contest for sovereignty. A people choose their sovereign from among themselves. One cannot put a sovereign to the sword to seize power. Such an act would be met with scorn and judged as murder. Taking power or wealth by force is seen as the most shameful of transgressions. <laughs> Couldn't be further from reality, could it? We have a Kingslayer on the brink of seizing the throne right now. And this idea of competing for public support. Here it sounds so commonplace, but the idea's thrown us all into chaos. Interesting. Perhaps I'm overthinking, but it sounds almost like the aim of the King's magic. You suppose there's some common inspiration? It 
Still, I don't imagine this would turn out well in the real world. In public opinion, tribal perspective always... Besides, does a decision made by the people guarantee its right? Tribal squabbles aren't always political. Take us Clamars, for example. It can be hard for us to see outside the bubble of our own worldview. We're the majority, and the tribe of the royal bloodline besides. That privilege can make us... insensitive. A problem with no easy solution, I fear. Lofty words. I can hardly come to terms with my own ideals. Still, the discussions helped clear my head a little. Thank you. I've been so fixated on killing Luis, but... Maybe we could look into whether that's really the only way to lift the curse. <sighs> Sleep should come easier now. I think I'll give it another chance. Wait, how long have you been asleep? Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Ladies and gents, have you heard the news? The curtain's about to rise on the show of a lifetime! To choose our new ruler, we're going to give all of you a chance to take center stage in a show of power for the whole kingdom! And we call it the Tournament for the Throne! Our aspirants will set out on a grand tour of the three Allied Nations capitals, taking part in a variety of exciting trials. First, we have the Exhibition of the Brave. Slay a monster plaguing our fair people and bring its head to Oceana's capital in time. Biggest find takes the win. Official word is, this event's open to all. So what do you think, ladies and gents? Are you in it to watch, or in it to win? Stroll? Why call us so early in the morning? What is that journal? I had Fabienne bring it up. Something occurred to me, so I asked her to go through Grius's personal effects. Hey, looks like he was investigating the curse too. There's a note here. Given the spell's complexity, it must have required a scribed formula. You mean to suggest... Luis possesses a written composition of the curse somewhere? And if we can find that... Yes! I wager, even if we can't kill Luis, we might still have a shot at breaking the curse. But... that attack took place years ago, didn't it? This curse's formula could be lost for good! We have little choice, but I hope it's not. I'm not saying it would be easy. And the real trick will be finding it. We wouldn't leave it unprotected. That reminds me. A crier for the church was handing these out. A flyer for the tournament for the throne. This popularity contest is state-sponsored now. An interesting gamble for those politicians. I like the bit about all this being in the interest of fairness, those weasels. But saying it's being organized by the state, the throne's empty. This smells like the theocracy at work, probably Forden himself. Do you think Forden's looking to fix the competition in his favor? He's been in first place this whole time. In the interest of fairness, remember? If he wins a fair race, he gets legitimized, and Luis gets put on the back foot. That bodes ill. Those with existing support could easily solidify their claim. Even should His Highness wake, he may use the throne. If we don't hurry and find a way to get close to Luis, we're sunk. Duh! What are we supposed to do? 
Let's enter this tournament for the throne. Huh? Hey, were you even listening to us? Besides, the prince isn't exactly in a position to take part in... Wait. It sounds crazy, but I think he might be onto something there. This could be just the excuse we need to get close to Luis. He doesn't care about your tribe so long as you prove capable, yes? That's what Zorba was saying. Which means, even though the world looks down on you as an elder, having the power to kill humans puts you in his good graces. You're going to make him a candidate for the throne? If all we need to do is get Luis's attention, then that's sure to get the job done. If we're lucky, he might even try to recruit us. I see. An undercover operation, is it? Quite a gambit, but it may well be our best chance at finding this formula. Just hold on a second! Getting Louise's attention is all well and good. But remember who's actually risking their life here. What do you think? Having heard all this, do you want to enter the running? <sighs> no point fighting my fate. Your courage is admirable. Right. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. No matter who someone is, they deserve a fair country. If it's to help achieve that, I will stand for the prince as a candidate for the throne. Sheesh. So much for being a guide. Now you're the one leading me around. Your resolve has marked you a fine fit for the role. I have trusted you with my life before, and would gladly do so again. yourself in enough danger listen to me I don't want you going down the same path he did are you really this set on running off again I I have to carry on his legacy Sure he'd be glad to hear it. I'll be cheering for you in this mess of a competition. Truth be told, I wish I could do more than feed and shelter you. grand race to see who will be the next king. The whole country will be watching. So you're going to try and become king? Wow! Then I'll cheer for you as loud as I can. <laughs> you have your first advocate, it seems. Suppose you'll have to actually try for the throne now, eh? Your Majesty. That was the plan from the start. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, if we want Louise to notice you, we'll have to make quite a stir among the people. Maybe reaching for the throne will do it. Does that mean you're not coming back? No, we'll be back. Although we might be a while. <sighs> I don't like when it gets lonely. But I'll be cheering for you. I hope you win the race. You'd be a good king. We'll see each other again. 
you better not forget. Now, we best get registration out of the way, but we'll need some legs for the journey. It's mostly lawless wastes between cities. Judging by this specified deadline, we're unlikely to reach the Principality of Oceana's capital in time on foot. I bet all these fancy nobles have their own gauntlet runners to ride in. A carriage might save our chances, if we could find one. Perhaps we split up for now. I'll leave you two to the registration. They should be taking entrance at the recruitment center. This should be the place, right? Excuse us. We're looking to join the tournament for the throne. Hey, be young, ain't ya? And who's the kid? Be with you. I'm the one entering. You? Really? I've not heard of any age restrictions. There a problem? Well, I'd not have thought it, but you're an elder, ain't ya? And you want to be king. Well, the novelty of it might win you some looks. Could you just do your job, please? Can he register or not? Ah, an elder. Now that I think of it... Weren't you in that pack of recruits that went off to the northern fort? Thought I heard they were all wiped out. What? We got a deserter turning up. No, they said he'd just dragged the company down, so they left him at the capital. He, um, got on the captain's bad side. Could swear I've seen you before, too. Well, hardly matters with no captain to verify with. Go on, then. You can represent the lesser tribes so nobody complains. Whew. That was a close one. And, uh, obviously, you're gonna need a carriage. Otherwise, the whole thing's off for you. Now, you're obligated to attend the opening ceremony tomorrow. It'll be at the plaza at the Grand Cathedral. Don't be late. We'll have to hope Hulkenberg can find us a carriage. As for us, I expect we should see about finding a monster to slay. If it's not impressive enough, Luis won't look twice at you. Some postings over there. They should be offering bounties on monsters the guard can't handle. Let's take a look. Looks like everyone else had the same idea. One of these bounties is bound to make me stand out. But which? Bigger is probably better. Hang on! There's nothing but small-time contracts here! Are you not here for this tournament, then? Bit slow, I'm afraid. Most of my worthiest monster bills have already been snapped up by other competitors. How about requests on anything aside from monsters? Bounties include criminals too, right? Hmm. I suppose I've got one of those, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Well, he's horrible. Heisme. A villainous kidnapper. Looks like the army's been trying to catch him for a while now. This might just be perfect. <laughs> Do you have any idea who that is? That man's an elite. An ex-royal knight, they say. It makes short work of a scrawny little urchin. You can be sure of that. Besides, didn't you hear what it is they're actually looking for? Oh, of course. It's about whoever can bring in the biggest monster head, right? If you imbeciles can't even get that straight, you've no chance of winning. They want kingly types, not children play-acting. Stuck-up little... Is that the kind of competition we can expect? 
He was right about the rules, though. What are you thinking? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We're supposed to get a monster's head. So why are you going for a criminal? Any idea what he's up to? Maybe this criminal has a really big head? Come on, that's a stretch. And if he had a gigantic head, you'd think they'd mention it in the contract. Don't worry, I'll explain everything later. As long as you can convince Hulkenberg, I guess. Hello there! Are you really taking the bounty on Heisme? <sighs> you three must be heaven sent. Please, would you listen to our plight? Your pardon, gentlemen. I'm Barden, a guard captain for Matira, a town to the south. The bounty on Heisme is up at my behest. A guard captain? This fellow's made some powerful enemies. We can't afford lenience. On top of his past crimes, Heisme has stooped to abducting our wee ones. Our children. Selling them off, some say. If our city becomes known for nightly disappearances, what sane resident would stay? Community and trade will dwindle and die. But he's just a lone kidnapper, right? Even if he's some infamous criminal, why can't the guard handle it? That's the trouble. He makes his hideout somewhere too dangerous for our soldiers to tread. Deep in the territory of vicious giant worms. We've no idea how he manages to operate out there without getting devoured himself. I see. Tricky problem indeed. I had no choice but to swallow my pride and post a bounty. Yet no matter how many times I renew the bill, none have taken it. A pitiful sight, isn't it? A soldier who can't protect his home, whether by strength or by surrender. Laugh if you must. We just want to help you. You only cast away your honor in the name of protection. Nothing pitiful in that. Swallow your pride no more, man. We'll take. Ah, thanks to you. That you'd accept such a perilous request, even with this tournament looming over everything. Closure, Thank you all. And thank God for bringing you to me. In that case, we shall meet in Matira, the old castle town. Please, make haste. No backing out of this now. You sure this is what we want? The way I see it, if we want to make a big impact this late, it's going to take some creativity. Besides, this is apparently a knight turned kidnapper. The man can't be allowed to go on. What would his royal highness do in our place? I guess that's fair. I'll convince Hulkenberg, somehow. You go on and accept the contract. Thank you. Registration issues, I trust? No, indeed. And we found ourselves a perfect target. Fine work. Stroll. See? She's convinced. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it. 
I'll prepare a map of the surrounding areas as well. But never mind that. Have you found us a kingly carriage? Well, I have made some arrangements. How best to put it? The vessel itself is without peer. Supposedly, it will come to us on the day of the opening ceremony. I... Uh, you don't sound too sure about that. Oh, uh, no, I'm certain. All I mean to say is, well... You shall soon see for yourself. Well, under the circumstances, I'll take what we can get. And setting that up in a day? Not so bad having a knight on our side. <laughs> you needn't speak so. In truth, I've just resigned from the knight's order. Though it is only my bond of service, I relinquish, not my title. We will shortly be seeking Luis's esteem. Should it come to light that I am a knight in active service, it may jeopardize our efforts. Still, you didn't hesitate to leave. I can tell you're serious about this. It was not an abrupt parting. I've come to doubt the Order since returning to find them serving the Santifex and not the Royals. Those who refused the Church's rule were cast out for their defiance. I only hope those fallen knights found useful employ elsewhere. Sounds like you've been through a lot too. Well, in any case, we can focus on our bounty contract now. Let's make sure we get some proper rest tonight. <laughs> Let's rest. All right, then. Fancy. Hello. <laughs> Good night. I come in? Huh? Want to read somewhere? Not today. You're all leaving tomorrow, right? I'll be cheering for you. So, I... I... I just... Oh no! I promised Miss Fabian I wouldn't cry. It's all right. I won't tell her. Pavel was trying to stop a bad man, you said. And that's what you're all doing too, isn't it? Please come back home safe. I'll be waiting here as long as it takes. It's a promise. All right. Promise? The next time I see you again. Can you tell me more about the outside world? This one's important. I never got a chance to say this to Papa. So... Thank you. I'll go to bed now. Captain, may I have a moment? Good night. I was hoping for a chance to speak before we set out. Since our meeting, I've done nothing but impose on you. Now, you risk your very life for this cause. It is no easy burden. It pains me to see, when I think of how this may yet save His Highness, I lose sight of all else. Such disregard ill becomes me. Don't worry about it. Tis kind of you to say. But that book... We met once before, on a carriage bound for the capital. 
do you recall? Now that you mention it, I do. My apologies. I thought only to minimize casualties one way or another. So, tis a novel envisioning an ideal world. Curious to see a utopian novel these days. I'd thought them long since banned. Ah, you needn't worry. I've no intention of taking it from you. I've sometimes wondered why such books were forbidden. Rumors say the Sanctists objected to their contents. Yet I wonder, how could a simple book have possibly stunned them so? Do you mind if I read a passage or two? So, it is a fiction written as if a personal account. This chapter seems to concern the system by which the nation's leader is decided. In this country, one cannot become even a statesman, much less sovereign, without the consent of the people. Those who aspire to statecraft must first solemnly swear before the people what they will do in service of their country. Should they earn title but break their word, they are denounced and stripped of power. Such is the authority of the people. In this way, it is the people who are the land's true king. Quite the opposite of our own country. Now I see why our upper echelons would abolish such texts. Had our lands embraced such accountability, perhaps His Royal Highness would not have suffered such a fate. No. As a knight, it's not my place to say. I must clear my head of these fantasies. In the end, clinging to a dream will do me no good. Oh, I suppose. It is not so bad to dream now and then. It takes power to walk the path of our dearest hopes. Perhaps that is the purpose of this newfound strength. My dearest dream, it is to save His Highness, even at the cost of my life. Nothing. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer.
<laughs> Even I'm feeling the heat. Well, I suppose it's time to fan the flames. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to the inauguration of the Tournament for the Throne! For the first time, the crown is anyone's to claim, as long as the aspirants can complete three grueling challenges. Wow, a Sanctus Cryer! He's perfect for this! Let's discuss the venues. We kick off in the west, in the Pearl of the Coast, the Principality of Oceana's harbour city capital, Port Brylehaven. There, they face their first challenge, the Exhibition of the Brave. Each contender must bring back the head of a monster, a mark of their prowess and courage. Next, our would-be monarchs head east. Upon the misty peaks, we arrive in the Principality of Montario's beautiful city of faith, Alterbury Heights. And finally, our heroes make their well-deserved return home to Grand Trad. But first, let's do introductions. It's time to meet those risking their lives for the crown. Closest to the throne, I know him, you know him. It's Sanctism's one and only 78th Sanctifex, His Eminence, Forden! Victory to Sanctifex Forden! I claim no great ambition, nor any heated calls to action. All I wish is to restore order for our people and to safeguard our land from the threats beyond. This chaos we face is but one of God's many trials. Let us restore our kingdom's glory together! Moving right along, we come next to His Eminence's champion, the very spear in his hand, the warrior monk captain of the Crown Theocracy, Master Guido. I come before you only in loyal service of His Eminence. I relinquish the throne to him gladly. But those who would seize the crown by force, I will teach you to fear God and to fear me! So much for this being a fair competition. How many horses do the Sanctus have in this race? Still, it's not over by far. The Luis supporters won't take this lying down. What cowardice, Cryer! Where's Count Louise? Right, all right, settle down. At this time, I can report that Count Luis has not applied to enter the tournament. What? He's not even entering? Then what becomes of us? Our entire purpose in this race was to get closer to him. Don't worry. He's definitely paying attention. He's only in second as it is, so we can't afford to ignore this whole production. Sit tight. I'm sure he'll make a move soon. All right, all right. For those Count Louis supporters, you might want to meet our next entrant. A rising socialite, a man of ambition, godless and fearless, the brash young warrior serving Count Louis, Gladell, the Black Hound. <laughs> Him? So he was one of Louis's men. The fallen king embraced sanctism and all its holy tenants, and for what? He was nothing before Lord Luis. Look to the sky all you wish. No god can save you! What our country needs is power! Well, it's not quite all the contenders, but let's get on with the introductions. The great liberal merchant, it's Roger Ward. By war, by conquest, by right, it's Rudolf Krauss. In it more for the gauntlet runners than the throne, it's Lena Caden. Sure to be popular by pledging free drinks for life, it's Loveless O'Shea. Uplifting the beautiful and deposing the hideous, it's Milo Maurizio. Wow, uh, if we lose this, I think the country has some even bigger problems. <sighs> Now, I do believe we have one final candidate. Do we have an Elden Boy present? Come on, huh? let's see your face.
What? An elder? Disgraceful. Is this the only way you could think to distinguish yourself? <clears throat> by the way, the ride you applied with still hasn't arrived. And uh, if it doesn't show up by the time the noon bell rings, you're disqualified. All right? Hey! What's going on? That nitwit! What is he doing? <sighs> so, contestants, are you ready? <laughs> what? Last, I say! Wait! Found your behave! A land runner? It's quick! Wait, it's headed right for the... It'll crash! Whoa! <coughs> what the heck is that? Oh, beautiful. So much for a first impression. What hell? Isn't he a marvel, chums? You don't! You nearly brought down the cathedral! Ooh. Have a care, you fool. It was bad enough when Luis did it the first time. Reckless, shameless old fool! Not bad, kid. Guess you've got some interesting tricks up your sleeve after all. Right! I'd call that a full roster! Ladies and gentlemen, race across the land! Go! Prove yourself worthy and earn your crown! For the people, for the throne! Let the games begin! We must take to the road. Come on, come on! Uh, so fast! Better hold on to something or I'll get blown up! It's incredible! want to go this place here wow hmm. oh spectacular this 
This is amazing. I don't know a thing about gauntlet runners, but even I can tell this is a hell of a craft. I can hardly believe she's ours to drive. You're telling me, lad? Feels like ages since I've been out on the open road. This girl's been waiting long enough for her time to shine. So this is what you used to talk with the driver? Convenient, that. Look, old fellow, are you really on our side? You realize we don't have funds to pay you. Money? Ha! I'm not in this for the money, boy. What I want is a little gust down. What do you think, lad? There's a bit of a rush. It is at that, like riding the wind. That's the ticket. <laughs> It's been so long since I've had a good chinwag. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. You've a good head on your shoulders, boy. Yes, I can tell you're a sharp one. Where to, ladies? The world is our shellfish. <laughs> You certainly are a different person behind the wheel. Hey, Hulkenberg! Can we get an explanation yet? That man is Neurus. An Ishkia, if it was not obvious from the wings. And despite... <laughs> everything, he was heir to a noble house and personal machinist for the royal family. What? He's a master engineer, of course, positively peerless. But as you can see, the runners get him a bit... <laughs> excitable. Nuras? Are you there? Even amidst all this commotion in town, I find you buried in your work. Ugh, too much to do. As always. To business, then. I must ask a favor. Would you be able to ready a carriage for me? No new commissions. No time for them. Ask another right. It is not the new one I require. Before His Highness disappeared, did you not accept a contract to build him a custom carriage? Without a formal owner, I reasoned that it must now lie unused. I was hoping I might borrow it a short while. But, pish and tosh, woman. She is for royal use and naught else. Tis an unreasonable request, I know, but I'd not be asking without a grave need. Might I at least see it? Ah, uh, I mean, well, um... T'was specially made for his highness, yes? Not a work you'd have sold off. Where lies it now? Deadlines to meet, dash it! Off with you now! Leave me be! You've been acting stranger than usual. What ails you? Whoa! Good God! Runner? The very craft commissioned for His Highness the Prince? Even knowing His Highness was gone, still you toiled away. Oh, Nuras, you are an inspiration. Such nobility of purpose. Um, yes. <laughs> right. However, for a craft meant for the royal family, it is rather 
excessive, isn't it? Did you really build this vehicle exactly to their orders? <gasps> you cannot mean. Well, at first, it was certainly, I followed the blueprints exactly. But then His Highness died, and, uh, well, I, I couldn't just let the old girl waste away. A masterpiece like her? Collecting dust in storage? No! Unacceptable! Unthinkable! <sighs> I'm working toward a dream, and this... This poor old girl is going to help me see it through. And then, finally... You imbecile! A lonely, brazen court engineer butchering His Highness's inheritance for a hobby! For this... mania! You embezzled the royal treasury and disrespected his legacy! Treason! Mercy, please! Look, take my head if you must, milady, but leave the valley runner alone. Look, this runner it is fully operational now, is it? Then I suggest you cooperate, for both our sakes. Finish your tinkering by tomorrow and bring it to the Grand Cathedral as soon as you can. <laughs> What's all this now? You play the proud soldier at me and then pluck it for your own schemes? No scheme! I would use it for His Highness's sake. For His Highness, eh? Hold a tick? Haven't you been looking for him? Wandering across God knows where last I heard? So if you're back now and... And now you want a gauntlet runner for His Highness? Is His Highness still alive? That's it! I've got you, haven't I? Twas His Highness who gave you refuge while you were only a heretical scholar condemned by the Sanctists. The time has come to repay His mercy. Understood. Is that enough? Can this old duck really handle an undercover operation? I know what you're thinking, but tis at least true that he feels an undying debt of gratitude to the royal family. Pish and tosh, boy! A little faith. Not to brag, but... I think... maybe. How encouraging. I want is to push this runner as far and as fast as she can go. Show her off to the world. And you? Well, I presume you'd rather work together than have to walk, eh? I don't know about this, but I guess we'll just have to trust him. What do you think? I think we can count on him. If you're sure, I suppose. We'll deal with it if we have to. Either way, he knows the prince is alive, so we can't just leave him to his own devices. You lot can handle the fighting, and I'll handle all the driving and grease work. Just... This guy's got no filter. But he has a point. We do need to talk strategy.
So, summing up. Our first trial is to slay a monster. We take its head as proof, then get it to the goal line before the deadline. The bigger the head, the better. Our destination is Port Brylehaven, the capital of the Western Principality of Oceana. It'd be a trek on foot, but this gauntlet runner should make it a snap. So getting the bounty's head is our next move. And our target is a nefarious criminal who's been kidnapping and selling off children. Right? A criminal? Did the task not specify a monster's head? Don't worry, all part of the plan. We don't need to win this thing, we just need to get Luis's attention. Everyone's going to show up with monster heads, and we shake things up with a felon. A knight turned kidnapper at that. Shows them we're there for justice. Us to deliberately violate the rules? We risk being disqualified entirely. Then again, it is just as likely to win the people's attention and thereby Luis's. I do understand the intent. What do you think of this plan? I trust all of you completely. Good enough for me. A captain's got to trust his crew, after all. The bounty's highs, mate. An ex knight. I realize that's a little close to home, Hulkenberg, so if you'd rather hang back. No. His title is precisely why I cannot let his atrocities stand. And yet, it is strange indeed that we are hunting a mere man when the trial demands a monster. Then again, our true aim is beyond the ambitions of any other aspirant. Our fate rests in this plan of yours, Stroll. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll try to ensure your trust isn't misplaced. Right, huh? Then our course is set. Feel free to use anything in the court that runner. Even got a bathing room if you can use a wash. Good to know. We can always look around more thoroughly later. Yes. You needn't tire yourself out before we arrive. Well, I'm a tinkerer and not much else. All my fighting happens in the old workshop. But I'll take you wherever you're going for your sake and mine. After all, the wilds out there are no fairy picnic. Oh no. It's a den of wild beasts and savage scoundrels and we'll not get past it without days on the road together. So, if you need anything besides a steady hand on the wheel, give me a hoot. Found to find me in the cockpit or the engine room. <laughs> He's certainly an eccentric, but he doesn't seem like a bad person. We'll get used to him, I suppose.
Sure. Gauntlet Runner arrives at the desert camp as the scorching sun sinks below the horizon and the curtain of night falls over the land. Protected within the stalwart hull of the Gauntlet Runner, the party gains a short, peaceful respite. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Good morning. True.
kidding? All right. <laughs> I say, uh, we could stop for a break. Coming now into view is the Tree of Prophecy, a resplendent tapestry of color against the backdrop of the bleak desert. One theory is that the tree's roots gorge on the land's magla, and still another is that it gorges on those enraptured by its colorful foliage, as though themselves snared by the bewitching magla surrounding the tree. The gauntlet runner comes to a stop at its base. Gauntlet Runner arrives in a quiet clearing, concealed by boulders, as darkness reclaims the wilderness for itself. Monsters run rampant in the wilds. To sleep here would be perilous, unless from within the safety of a Gauntlet Runner. The party, secure in their Gauntlet Runner, spends the night in peace, hidden from hungry gazes.
time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. to fly everywhere. What the? Did we just crash? Of course not! That's a... A cannonade. them. Remember, from the opening ceremony, I think one of them is Godot, Forden's confidant, and the other is Luis's man, Gladell. Prominent candidates. Shouldn't the king's magic petrify them for their aggression? No, see where they're aiming. They're not shooting to kill, just to take out the opposing runner's legs. with no working runner. Whether well, they survive or not, they're dashed well out of the race. So does a clash to halt each other's advance. Damn fools couldn't resist a show of force. Look! Over by the legs. That crier is there too. I see. Acting as witness to the higher candidate's conflict. It seems Gladell cannot match Gadel's firepower. our plan. If we just hang back and watch, Godot's gonna win, and Forden gets a leg up on the competition. Let's give Gladell a hand here. Good thinking. That way we could win Luis's regards. Agreed. Let us ride to Gladell's aid. I say, hold on! You realize you're a no-name candidate? If he wants to shut you out, he'll not have to aim for just our legs. It's a runner, isn't it? If things get too dicey, we'll just run. Didn't you say we had the fastest craft around? Uh, fine. Suppose there's no room for caution if we want the world's eyes on us. Okay, then, it's settled. Let's make sure he owes us big. There should be an external runner phone out there. We're here to help with Drogon help. Who goes there? Why do you stand for Luis's forces? Well, I'm um, sorry. Can't get into it now. That call. You're that commoner candidate who destroyed the Grand Cathedral! Was that not enough? You would profane the saint for the second time! So be it. In God's name, be thou punished! Interfere in my fight! Know your place! Is it fame you seek? You thought by confronting me, you might lift your own names? Then you chose the wrong opponent! I hate to interrupt, Oleg, but it's a touch more complex than that. We of the Crown Theocracy's monk army have silenced all who would oppose the eminence of God. Your petty ruses are beneath me. 
Now you shall know how powerless you truly are. Remember, the king's magic means we cannot move to strike Godot himself. Go for his followers first. We'll thin their numbers and turn the tide. Go, my brethren! Put the fear of God into these impious commoners! Don't forget about the petrification magic! Swordmaster! Let me rethink this. Oh, you gotta aim better than that. Face your oh, resistance. Power of heroes! Shut up! Let's do this. <laughs> Kneel before him! Only a flesh wound. What could you hope to achieve? Come at me! He knows we can't Let's go! He's toying with us! We shall vanquish him, Brin! I will usher you to his side! Oh, mystic fire! Witness the power of sanctism! <laughs> What could you hope to achieve? Merge it! Captain! In the name of God! Oh. Mage! I'll destroy you! More resilient than I expected. I would lose nothing by conceding this fight. But the faithful are watching. For the sake of my dear brethren, I must hold nothing back. Now, feel the righteous truth of sanctism engraved upon your flesh. Does this mean he's getting serious? Rise, my brother. Take this. <laughs> sanctism will rise. <laughs> So, the faithful are broken before you, yet your desperate struggling is for naught. You cannot defy the inevitable. I am immune to all your wicked hearts. Oh, he gets to do whatever he wants, and we can't even get near him! <laughs> Bend the knee! and yield to the divine truth of sanctism. Now, are you prepared for the end? Ah, I think not, you rotter! Sure. What have you done to my gauntlet runner? We have nothing to lose. At the very least, I can thrash our own clunker until it's inoperable. This is a waste of my time. So be it. You'll face your divine punishment soon enough. Phew. Finally, he took the hint. Hey, get down here. What are you playing at? You think I owe you now or something? I would have been fine without your meddling. Are you hurt? Of course I'm not hurt! Look, what are you after? Why, Gladell, surely you can spare some manners for a crew that saved our lives? Honestly, that got a bit ugly for my liking. Well, well, well. Do my eyes deceive me? Juna the songstress in the flesh. What brings you all the way out here? A little tryst on the road, is it? Nothing so saucy. I'm afraid this cad's just my chauffeur. Now please, darling, a little privacy, or I'll have to charge for an interview. Fair enough, miss. Fair enough. Nothing you're not used to. 
consider me Chasen and Shu. Besides, I might have found another angle here that's just as promising. You surprised me out there, love. You bested Godot. So you're not just a pretty face. You were more help than my useless driver, at least. Here, however talented and famed a songstress she may be, you must remember to contain yourselves. Songstress? Wait, is she the same Nidia lady who sang at the opening ceremony? I, but that's, oh, blast it all, I can't take it anymore. I'd know the suspensions anywhere. You had Caden workshop on this, eh? Yes, those are quality parts and no mistake. Luis really shells out for his own. By the crown, you can't be serious. She is Juno, the kingdom's greatest singer, the dulcet diva. Oh, this is preposterous. Surely I can't be the only one starstruck? Really? No, no one else wants to shake her hand? Then, on behalf of this group, I... <laughs> You're an interesting little ensemble. Wait, is that a fairy? A real living one? Where did you... Hey, up there! strange that a candidate like Gladell got stuck playing someone's driver. But she was still the Sanctist's pick for the opening ceremonies? Guess even Forden's camp has to bend to popular opinion. My humblest apologies, my lord Luis, for this travesty, especially when you had graced me with the privilege of bearing the lovely Lady Juna. <sighs> Glad to see Lady Juna safe, at least. I could have crushed that churchman like a bug. And I would have if these insolent fools hadn't. I'm sure. Sorry, don't much care. It would seem you had to clean up my associate's mess. I'd like to express my gratitude, but if I might ask, who are you? Take a wild guess. Mouth like that's gonna get you killed, kid. <laughs> a bold one, are you? I didn't take you for a traveling troop of jesters. He's just another no-name candidate. One would think you commoners, but for the Lady Knight at your side? And you have a gauntlet, brother. Most curious. What made you decide to enter the competition? Looks like he's more interested than we anticipated. This might be our chance, so choose your words wisely, okay? Mm. I want to help you, Count Luis. Oh? You fight in my name, do you? Really now? So, you thought you'd step in for a little self-promotion? We want to help anyone in need. That's what we believe in. Anyone? Most interesting. However, my immediate needs are met in terms of sword hands. Oh, come now. 
Don't they have a certain charisma to them? Why? I dare say I saw them use magic without igniters. Please, I know we can help you. We want nothing more than to see your vision realized, Lord Luis. You do know what that vision is built on, don't you? If you would claim yourself my ally, then prove your power before all the kingdom's eyes. You can't change the world without power, after all. If you can manage that, I'll consider your proposal. See you, loves. Don't think this changes anything. Come on, Hector! Right then, that could have gone worse. We were lucky we managed to connect with Luis this early. No thanks to that Gladell. Even should we be accepted, he'll be no ally of ours. Well, at the very least, Luis knows our faces. All we have to do now is avoid screwing it up. He wants to see our power, does he? Then let's find Heisme, bring him to justice, and show the nation we're a force to be reckoned with. As the chirping birds return to their nests, and the darkness claims its dominion, the gauntlet runner at last arrives at its repose, a place grown thick with trees. Are the sounds from between the trees just the leaves being caressed by the wind? Or are they the whispers of the beguiling beings of the dark? The party never has to find out, for they are safe within the Gauntlet Runner. We go check on him. Uh. Hey, Nurse, you okay? Oh, you too. Terribly sorry. It's nothing, really. Is there something troubling you? Ah, well, I suppose you could say that. It's just the runner, you see. I wanted to make her peerless. An absolute beauty, you know, top of her class. Something that would make even old Luis's runner look like a burly apple cart. I'd not be floundering so much if I just had a bit of spark. A spark? Yes, my girl. A spark of inspiration. A moment of epiphany. Like when I saw the lost relic. Lost relic? Doesn't ring a bell. Ah, yes, context. Uh, they say that long, long ago, automation ruled the day. People lived surrounded by machinery with no need to work. Legend has it that they lived lives of convenience and comfort. But somehow, that civilization just up and disappeared. God only knows what happened to them. Sounds kind of far-fetched already. Hear me out, would you? The point is, 
Once in a stretch, you hear about someone unearthing relics from those days of yore. Absolutely inscrutable to the layman, don't you know? But those in the know would recognize such a prize at a single glance. Who'd you hear this from? Heard it, lad? I've seen it with my own eyes. You see, there was this old inventor in the neighborhood where I grew up, quite sharp, but a bit barby. That old fellow only showed me his find once, but even seeing it lit a fire in me, like being struck by lightning. After that, it was like a boiling pot. Ideas, ideas, ideas rising to the surface. And my tinkering always came out marvelous. Some proper court engineer worthy genius. Something about it utterly captured my imagination. The, the, the lost relic, I mean. Wow. Uh, you could try getting him to show you again. If only I could. That old fellow went back to his own hometown. That single solitary glimpse of the past was all I had. The old goat. He told me he'd leave me the relic in his will. Okay, so where's this guy's hometown? Oh, some tiny hamlet somewhere on the outskirts of Martira. A village by the name of Kumiro or some such. This one's important. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Departing the capital and barreling southward, the party's gauntlet runner at last arrives in the old castle town, Artira, where their client, Barden, awaits. The towering castle's stark walls stare down coldly upon its visitors. The only question now is whether or not this gambit was the right move. I've been hoping you'd show up soon. I know it's been a while, but we pledged to help you. We'll not go back on our word. I'm sure Lady Joanna will also be pleased. Oh, your pardon. Lady Joanna rules this city. She is also a most holy sanctuary of the Sanctus Church. 
She lives there, in Kriganti Castle. I take it the locals are hoping for His Eminence Forden to win the tournament? Aye, naturally. No sane and righteous man would want Luis on the throne. Speaking of, I heard there was a scuffle on the road between two candidates' gauntlet runners. The criers say Forden's allies suffered the worst of it. Ah, well, that's Luis's camp for you. I assume it was them, I mean. Some nasty characters at his heel, eh? Luis is nothing but a tyrant. If... Yes. Such atrocities in his name. Unforgivable. Captain, are you sure we can trust these strangers? These bounty boarders are always in it just for the money. Looks like his officer is not on our side just yet. Denny, be rude, Morris. They've come a long way for our sakes. <sighs> now, I'm sure you must be knackered from the journey. Let me show you to it. You can try our local speciality, perhaps. Ah, you've a local delicacy. It would be a welcome treat. You chaps go on. The old girl needs a bit of maintenance after carrying us so far. Can't that wait until you've eaten? Uh, too much at stake, lad. Go on, don't worry, and I'll sort her out. Ah, <sighs> might well fix the Bally Waterworks while I'm at it. Come, everyone. This way. Is this... some kind of smoked dish? Roasted larvae of the giant sandworm. It's Martira's culinary speciality. Cooked to a delicate finish, just enough to preserve all the natural juices and flavors of the innards. Oh good, larval innards. It's a unique texture, to be sure, but the taste is divine. Exquisite. You're completely serious, aren't you? Something the matter. Do try some of your own before it gets cold. <laughs> Looks great. What is with that smile? Not you too. You fairly eat with gusto, young man. Passion worthy of a royal candidate. How was it? Sometimes the insides can twitch a bit, but it's harmless, I assure you. Would that I had time to try more of your dishes, but... to business. Can you fill us in on the details of all these kidnappings? Aye. Our wee ones have been going missing for at least six months. All told, we're looking at 15 children now unaccounted for. And you think this Heisme is your culprit? I'm told he's a disgraced knight with nowhere else to turn. We've no proof, but the pieces fit. Seems to me that with nothing else to lose, he's gone rogue. For a man who claimed a knight's honor to stoop to such horrors. Tis unacceptable. We must end this quickly, for our sake and his own. If I recall the brief, it'll be quite a feat to even get near this Heisme. His hideout was in the midst of the Sandworm's territory, yes? Aye, well remembered. He certainly isn't going to make this easy for us. Out way out here? Looks pretty far from Martira.
that you mention it, I have to wonder how we can even survive out there. We've been chasing any lead we have, but we can't figure it all out. We're in over our heads. Let's work together to save this town. We're awful grateful to have you. And any worry, we'll pay you what you're due. After all, nobody else in the royal capital would give it a second glance. We help anyone in need. That's why we've come this far. Inspiring words, young man. Now, I hope you're not full yet. We've a whole spread of other dishes for you. Now this, this is the pride of the town. A fine sweetmeat made from the juvenile sandworm's entrails. You'll find this tastes as sweet as any dessert. Together, I'm sure we can find a way to the stronghold without falling prey to those words. Now, please, dig in. It is altogether different from the roast. Why, it is succulent as a mellow fruit. Another marvel. You must have gotten used to eating anything you had to out in the wild, eh? I'll schedule a meeting with the Honourable Lady Joanna tomorrow. Please, rest your weary heads for today. If they aren't here, con a free meal out of us, that is. Now, let's go. It's been a while. Exactly! Hey. All right, then. Got a moment? Pleasure to see you. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Oh, it's gorgeous out. Oh, hold on. Let's hurry.
elder candidate? No. All right, then. Oh. Hey! What'll it be? Yeah. Let be. Indeed. I've awaited you. Aye, yes. May I 
present Lady Joanne, sanctuaries and the ruler of this city. These are the ones who have undertaken the request to subjugate Heisman. I am Joanna, presiding lady of this city. On its behalf, you have my gratitude for traveling all the way from the royal capital. Lady Joanna refused to use taxes to pay for this, so she sold her own heirlooms and possessions to secure the funds. It's clear you want only the best for your people, milady. So we'll give you our best in return. I cannot claim any nobility above yours. Even as other aspirants to the throne quarrel and bicker, you've chosen instead to help the kingdom's people. Well, we don't deserve that much credit. After all, we're not helping for free. Even so, please put an end to this tragedy. We won't let you down. Thank you. In truth, I thought it foolish to decide a monarch by a simple vote of popularity. But perhaps here is my offer. If you get rid of the culprit, I will appeal to the people of this town to support you. It is most kind, but can you truly afford that? Surely, as a church sanctuary, his eminence Forden would expect your support. Indeed. However, I would rather have a king who truly cares for his subjects. Yes, Lady Joanna. Now, I must return to my duties. I shall await our next meeting. We're counting on you. was a confident smile indeed, with a great deal of pain behind it. I know it's but a step in our plan, but truly, I hope we can help these people. She even promised us political support. She did say it. Oh, I mean, I can't help but wonder if she'll keep her word on that. It's quite a promise to make when she barely knows us. Did something seem amiss? Not in particular. Maybe it's just the gloominess of this place getting to me. So what are we going to do about Heisme? We'll have to go out in Sandworm territory to find him, right? The mere fact of his kidnappings suggests he's passing unseen by guards and Sandworms alike. The question is, how? Let's ask around the city a bit first. Though I can't say we'll find many willing to talk with the streets this deserted. Maybe we'll have better luck around the taverns and shops. We should go. Boy. My thanks to you. All good. Oh, really? All right, then.
what'll it be? What are you on about? What are you on about? What is it? Right. Think on it. Can I think? God's doing. Do that. All right, then. What you want to know? Excuse me. I suppose we knew it wouldn't be that simple. It is far too early to give up. I spent over a year asking after the prince with no luck, and still I did not falter. Yes, and it's very admirable. But I think I'd prefer a change of tack instead. You there! Might you answer a question? Terribly sorry, but I can't help you. I'm just here on my leisure. You're better off finding the information you're looking for elsewhere. Suspicious character, isn't he? Hey, you lot. You seriously gonna hunt down Heisme? You're Barden's man. Yeah, the guy with the attitude. Not sure I should tell you this, but here I am. There's actually a way to avoid the giant sandworms. 
We just gotta wait for the sand flash. It's a local event, a kind of storm. The wind kicks up sand peppered with magic crystals. Not too uncommon a sight round here. Our diviners say we'll have a sand flash in about five days. Seems to put most wild beasts to sleep. Might be some magic effect, or might just be waiting out the storm. And that includes the sandworms, eh? They'll nod off, and with proper timing, you'll sneak right past them. Heisme might well be using the same trick himself. We're much obliged, but if you know all this, why haven't you and the guard gone out? A guard unit stomping around would wake up the whole den. Didn't he much like saying it, but us local lads wouldn't be much use against Heisme anyway. But you think you can handle him, aye? <laughs> wouldn't be here otherwise. That information is all we needed. Thanks for the help. Good luck out there. And don't worry, no charge for the advice, eh? Can't have you getting yourself killed now. Cap's reputation's on the line. And, uh, one more thing. You didn't get this info from me, eh? Understood. But why? You could have shared this with us at supper yesterday. What? And got myself volunteered to go out there as your travel guide? No <laughs> danger of that. I see. Anyway, I'm counting on you. Finally, a solid lead falls into our laps, and we'll not even have to bother with the sandworms. We've apparently got five days till the sand flash hits. Let's make sure we can get this done quick. Looks like more than a day's trip on the map. If it takes us one night to reach the giant sandworms' territory, and we aim to go when the storm has them all asleep, we should leave in four days' time. Let's go inform near us. Right, oh, straightforward enough. Long as we get in when the worms have all tucked in for a nap, we'll be just dandy. Suppose I'd better crack on with the tune ups then. Don't want the old girl failing on us when she'll be our only hope of egress, eh? Oh, that? Damned if I know. It was just in the blueprints from the royal family. Works rather like an igniter, but no idea what it does. Just don't go breaking... Oh, oh easy there. You all right, lad? Thought I saw something glowing. Then you came over all giddy. Gave me a start. this thing reacted. Uh, look, we don't want any nasty surprises, so I vote we stay put and rest up for today, just in case. Don't want you passing out on me, do I? Just consider it a little precaution for the trip. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Your journey is going well, it seems. One by one, you take your steps forward on this road. A supernatural awakening, a call to adventure, legs to carry you. All of these are coming together. Accordingly, new powers needed for the journey seem to have awakened. Are you talking about that thing inside the Gauntlet Runner? By my eyes report, there is one piece of equipment in the Gauntlet Runner that was created in ancient times. Something no longer crafted in this day and age. A divine relic. It contains ancient magic once thought lost. The power of teleportation. With proper use, its great power will turn your gauntlet runner swifter than any beast or transport on land. <laughs> Most interesting. 
The reasons elude me, but you seem qualified to use this divine relic. I cannot imagine this is mere coincidence. Perhaps you are guided by an unknown hand. Now, try to imagine vivid, familiar scenery, somewhere far from the land where you rest. here. What's with all the yelling? Hmm? Wait, isn't this... The royal capital! How? We were in Matira just last night! Yoras? Surely you didn't drive us back here? Are you mad? Don't you remember how many days the last trip took? You can't dash and roll pop over to the capital in a single night! This is some magic you saw in a dream? So this teleportation, it can just whisk us all back to the royal capital in a flash. Even the gauntlet runner came along for the ride. It certainly did. And there might be a reason for that. Do you know something? She was custom made for the prince. When I wasn't there in the concept phase, when they gave me an odd gadget and said, make it work, I bloody well made it work. You saw it yourself, eh, my lad? That part all bound up in its heart. Last night, we caught it glowing. Then I wake up and find a proper hullabaloo. Damnedest thing. It only started glowing when you got close, eh? Maybe you were a trigger of some kind. Yeah, maybe I am. I cannot say I've heard of teleportation, and yet... Surely there can be no explanation for this other than magic. Hold on. If we're back in the capital, that means we've got bigger problems. We're due back in Martira for the bounty. If it takes us days to get back, that's all our planning ruined. If we magic ourselves over here, let's bally well see if we can magic ourselves back, eh? Makes it sound so easy, but what do you think? Tis no small feat we ask, I know, but might you at least try? Triggering it. Oh, hey, 
Are you sure this is safe? All we can do is trust it. feels just like when the king's magic caused that spectacle in the capital. Mm, in my eyes, it's the other way around. It's not powerful by virtue of being connected to the king or to the lad. Maybe it's that all magic is supposed to have potential of this magnitude. all got some powers that defy understanding too, eh? Gives one the sense that those sanctists preaching about needing igniters are wrong, or lying outright. I suppose when you say it like that. Speaking of sanctism, they'll not like this. A tool full of this kind of practical, unorthodox magic is against all their teachings. Why would the royals have had it? A moment. With this teleportation on our side, can we travel anywhere in the world with only a thought? If that's so, we may not even need a gauntlet runner at all. What? You mean we could just magic snap ourselves to Brylehaven? Just like that? Go on, try it out! No reaction. So we can't go somewhere we've never been before? Anywhere else you've been? How about Montario? No. Commoners don't usually visit the three great cities. It would seem this power of travel is somewhat conditional. Best that we define its boundaries now. So, in the end, the only places we can teleport to are the cities we've actually been to. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Almost had me out of a job there, lad. Sounds like you've got to envision the destination in great detail for it to work. We'll need more than a glance out a window or a passing familiarity. And you have to focus for it too. It seems to take you a moment, which means it won't save us in a fight. Not as convenient as it sounds, huh? How so? Now we can return to the royal capital any time we need to restock. It is useful enough as is, and the more places we travel, the more we can return to. You're right. And now we can drop by to see Maria whenever we like. Put like that, it really is something impressive. Even if we've no idea where it comes from, it should certainly prove useful. Our next foe is a bounty, and we have a lot of preparing to do. We've got three days to go, so don't forget.
Oh, my apologies. You're right there. That's a relief. Well, I'll be off now. Hey, you sure you want to let that fellow go? He nicked something of yours just now when he bumped into you. Oh no! Grius's dagger is missing! Let's chase after him! I don't see him anywhere! Jeez, how'd he disappear so fast? Take a look. What? Good hunting to you. Don't go get yourself killed. Yeah. All right, then. Where to? Yeah. 
Certainly. Thank you. 
No. on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Nonetheless, Too. 
exactly what the gods are doing. About time, what? Now point us toward the fray. Choice. This place. Nice little village. Ah, I see. Hmm. That's where you want to go. It's your call. Great. Let's move out. Gauntlet Runner heads off toward a small farming village, and each shuddering step reminds them of their journey's purpose. What to pick? Hmm.
passé. Now, a new power. And now, to walk this path at your side. However, <laughs> the party at last arrives in the village of Comero, a small farming settlement southeast of Martira. Blessed by the mild climate, its ranches produce fine fare, and to take in its idyllic landscapes is to be at peace as time itself seems to stop. It gained a reputation for its rare and wondrous goods, brought there by merchants in their longing to return. As though welcomed by the grazing animals, the gauntlet runner stops gently. Say. He's all right. I knew it! This thing's the genuine article, a real bona fide lost relic in my hands. Some sort of power affecting the air around it, uh, trace amounts only, something, uh, a reaction, a, a, a reaction entirely unlike Magla by God. Absolutely smashing! Beyond my wildest hopes! No bloody idea how to use the thing, but if I can just adapt this conduit here... <laughs> Can't forget a masterpiece like this! I say, lad, did you find this for my sake? We wanted to help you out, nurse. Why, I, I... I'm barely well touched. It, it positively chokes a man up. <laughs> you may be just a lad, but you have the heart of a saint. And that old fella... Seems silly to ask, but he's long gone, isn't he? Yes. I'm sorry. Thought so. You can fight the years, but you can't beat them. <laughs> he made good on his promise, though, eh? It's in my hands now, old man. What's that? Something from the village. It's written with some letters we can't understand. Hmm. Ah. 
Mirror letters. See here? It's a script I use myself when I don't want any snoops stealing my inventions. Now I think of it, he's the one who taught me even that trick. Thanks, old man. I owe you a great deal. Thank you. So what is it? Blueprints for a big secret invention? No. This is research on the lost relics. Looks like the old fellow was hunting for others. A uh, different cipher here. He tried to guess at locations too. Looks like his chase ended when he lacked the means to follow his findings. Say, I've a grander favor to ask. Could you check around for more of these lost relics? Looks like the old man worked out a few other locations. There's uh, seven more relics noted down in this journal. I've got to see them all with my own eyes. A quick stopover or two in our travels should be all it takes, so uh, please. Right, leave it to me. Appreciate it. We're in this journey together, what? A free-hearted engineer, Neurus. Within him dwells the virtue of the gunner. Nurture thy bond with him and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I'm ready to kick my feet up, lad. You said it'd only take a few stopovers, but... Do you even know where they are? Well, they're scattered all about, my girl. If we could crack the cipher, that'd narrow down our search range attack. I'll leave this journal here. If I can crack any of the codes, I'll make a special note of it. So you just take a look when you feel like a spot of treasure. Dear. This one's important. I was thinking this back at the village, but I think I might be able to detect this relic with my powers. I'll know if I'm close to it. When you want to hunt for relics, can you let me know? Thanks, you two. I'm rather looking forward to digging deeper into this. Okay then, 
Save my ass. <laughs> Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Speaking of... Hmm... yourself at home. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. I see. 
fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. This one's important. I have faith in you. What now? Coin can solve problems a blade cannot. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. like everyone's here. 
now then. What are we doing there again? You would pursue peril. It's your call. That's cutting it close. All right, then. Let's go! What were the guards <sighs> doing? Hit. Is the real skinny? Is the real? Is the real skinny? Here's the wheel, Skinny. Thank you kindly. Don't say shy. All this right, then. Let's head there right away. Now then. Ah, I see. Well, what are we doing? Great. Let's move out. What to pick? You. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right. knowing that I'm not alone. Thanks. You lot! Enemy attack! Is everyone prepared? Right down and let us go! Fill up! 
I call upon royal power within. Not a... Are you prepared? Done. More enemies. Still more. Brace yourself. Only one merchant. Finish them Let's off. Let's go. Ah! Nice hit. I shall vanquish perfect. evil. After me! It's up to you now. Let's do this! The Imp's Den, home to countless bandits over the years, has warranted the caution of all who lived near the steep, forested entry path. They warned their children of the dangers there. There are demons in those woods, they said. You mustn't go near. Perhaps the children's anxiety inadvertently roused something from its sleep. It is to that den, now befitting of its name, that the Gauntlet Runner arrives. Well... Just... Yep. Hmm. Well... Come on! 
To vanquish evil. No, no. Let's make an end of it. Let my power support you. You will taste justice. Next. Not bad. If I say so myself. I just swan. Allies, together. Not this. Let justice prevail. Not this one. Behold, we stand. Let together. me help. Raw, when Raya will fight further. It's okay. By this power, two remaining. Not bad. I say so myself. Not bad at all. Nice. I feel strong. Huh? I have never known such a new means of protection. Somehow. and focused. What now? I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Let's take it with us. 
I think we got them all. We'll be safe for a while. take it with you. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Is it finally time? So? More All right, people then. missing. Now, where was I?
this one's important. I can hardly wait. I've been waiting. God's doing. Aha! I've been waiting. Let's go sniff out that bounty, shall we? Till All right then. Let's head there right away. What were the gods doing? You peril. <laughs> Tally ho then. Trusting the advice of Morris, Barden's right hand man, the party takes the gauntlet runner towards the giant sandworm's nest. They could not know what they will encounter here, nor that it might be only the beginning of their trials. to pick. All right, then. moment.
All right. Now then. The gauntlet runner comes to a stop at the midnight sunsets. The grandeur of it stirs something in each of them. Could a creature this large have truly existed? Or is it an oddity shaped by the sands? Another truth lost to time. Indeed. Look. Hmm? running for the throne, of course. Isn't that why you're out here? I'm sorry, but the throne will be mine. I can't afford to lose. Not when true change is at stake. Here and now, nobody gets off easy. Not even you. Now let's do this, fair and square. Have it! I... I don't think she's thought this through. But I guess we'd better put our dukes up. I shall vanquish evil. I call upon royal power within. Nothing. I will magic seeker. Nice hit. That was perfect. Behold, we stand together. Oh, both rising. You have it a lot. Even in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, I can't win. I can't take this! This frustration! Satisfactory. Nice. I feel strong. I continue to grow. Right. I could get used to this. Hey. 
Hmm? If you want my opinion. Here is. <laughs> oh, certainly. About that. But come on. The truth is. And then... The gauntlet runner takes repose at an encampment as the sun sets along the sandy horizon, darkness settling in. What creeps through the sands outside in the night is unknown to the party as they take their well-deserved rest. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The gauntlet runner quietly comes to a stop before the giant sandworm's nest. It is the day that the sleep inducing sand flash dances in the sky. Their target is Heisme Noctur, a villain still unseen, who has caused the woes of Martyra. Will they successfully claim his bounty to great fortune? This weather should have all the sandworms conked out. Speaking of which, what exactly do they look like? I only got a glimpse of the lava, and cooked at that. As tube-like as any worm, they grow quite steadily in their lifetime. It's the tremendously large ones that end up deadly threats. Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. What kind of man would want to live in a den of those things? Did you hear that? Just now. Beasts. And not just one. 
Should they not be asleep? Hey, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the? So that's it, eh? But what's going on? Did we get bad information? That's no sandworm. A horror like that could only be... A human? We're not getting away without a fight! Damn it! We can't die here! Hey, this isn't what we heard Sword about! Master. What's going on? Perhaps not. No holding back! I'll cut you down! Magic Seeker! I've magic knife! This won't do. With blade in hand! They yet cling to life. It went underground! I think we managed to drive it back! Be of use later. Okay, so. Let's go. What? If 
It's useful, I say grab it. Huh. <clears throat>
I'll cut you down! Smooth finish! Great work, everyone! The next one will fall just as easy. Not bad, if I say so myself. My blood runs cold. There's nothing to be done. <laughs> Look at that! And slash the freedom of a wanderer by this power. Ah! A tough oh, one. Of power of heroes. Hulkenberg got them right now. Sword master. <laughs> stronger already. I continue to grow.
Well... Even so... <sighs> no. Wait! Even so. Is all well? Sure, sure. forward to doing business with you again. What now? Bring the fight to them. <sighs> Indeed. Let's go! Smooth 
Say so myself. I think that's all of them. lurking inside. Stay vigilant, everyone. Tracks. Something small crawled here. Probably the larva of the giant sandworms, right? This place is bound to be chock full of them. Maybe what happened is that people mistook the human for some subspecies of the sandworms. Not that they're anything alike. Ugh. Even the memory of being eaten puts a twinge in my nose. I'd rather it stay numb. Stop fussing over a smell. You'll attract the enemy. I just heard something. It can't be. Gallica, which way is the sound coming from? Someone's coming this way. Keep your guard up. Who's he? You the man we seek. Name yourselves. Uh, you mean this is Heisme? I didn't expect a Yuchif. He's a Yuchif. Never seen one in the flesh. We're but another lesser tribe the city dwellers don't care for. We owe you a debt, it seems. A Knight of the Crown, are you? Is that why you knew my name? Or perhaps you know it from the Wanted posters? Both, actually. I flee to the furthest depths, and still they pursue me. Where are the people you kidnapped? What are you talking about? Uh, suppose there's no point standing around chatting with someone after my head. That weapon. So it truly was part of the Shadow Guard. Shadow Guard? Eyes front. He's a knight to be reckoned with. Here I come! I'll not be anyone's captive without a fight. I'll have to provide some less delicate discouragement. No hard feelings. Allow me to use this. me this far. I did not give you enough credit, but against my mirage hearts, your strength means nothing. What the I call upon oh, royal God. power within! There's multiple high space! I your game! Do wide -ranging attacks. Focus on one yeah. What's in that? Uh, what? Nice dodge! 
You take yeah. a fancy footwork stroll. Magic seeker. Yeah. I'm going to you. Going on. Where'd he go? Yeah. Yeah. Look out. This is nothing. Blunder! Hmm? Was luck on your side? Or perhaps... No matter. I can't back down either way. Here I come! In the name of... Try some of them! I will smite you! You think yourself equal to a human blunder? I was saving this! No holding back! I see your game! Into wide ranging attacks! Focus on one at a time! How about this? What was that tactic? I have my magic! Audacity! Hulkenberg's moving at glory! I'm barely staying awake. Come this far on brute force alone? Now I know you only see what I want you to see. And once lost in the mirage, there is no escape. I'll use this! Yes. Only a flesh wound. The timid noise. Pierce through that oh. worthy foe. Most impressive. You've some grand cause to fight for, I'm sure. But I have my own. I've no intention of being so easily snared. Disappeared just like that. Even wholly surrounded, too. It is bad enough that he's skilled, but we have an environmental disadvantage here. But the very first thing he did was save us from a human, right? So it seemed. Had he not stepped in, he'd be rid of us and not have to bother exposing himself. Passing strange choice for a supposed amoral scoundrel. Well, we don't know anything for sure yet. Worth noting that the petrification magic didn't kick in either, I suppose. Our names still mean nothing then. The people's support is not yet strong enough to protect us. Tis frustrating, but we must press on. Should we investigate the hut in the meantime? Maybe we'll find some clues about the kidnappings. Good plan. Let's take a look first. Hmm. Let's do it. Doesn't it seem like... Really? 
cazzo. The truth is. I get it now. Even so. Look. Indeed. Hey. Hmm. Strange. This is... So apparently... But... No. In this place... Right. Right then, let's get this plan underway. getting to let loose as long as I'm yelling anyway Louise you think you're so bloody untouchable you bastard Ah, enough! Stop! 
Not for the final deal. What do you think would happen if that monster showed up without my ears working? You'd all be dead. Is this blasted bounty that important to you? Here's our guest of honor at last. It was never about the money. Children are missing. We can't just ignore a kidnapper. Kidnapper? I see now. As you were saying before, they've named me a kidnapper. A monster preying on children. If the charges are false, I would hear it. In truth, even I've come to doubt the allegations. And why is that, Lady Knight? Lost a child yourself, haven't you? I cannot imagine a parent who has endured such pain would kidnap children, much less sell them off. <laughs> Hold on. I can't trust a man who does nothing but flee. The people responsible for my home burning. Zorba, who forced the dead to fight on his behalf. Anyone who can't face reality themselves is capable of any low. True enough. If we lived in a world where words alone proved us just, I'd not be living in this infernal cave. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I won't go to the gallows before I've even honored my son's death. If you'll not leave me be, then we decide this another way. So you're finally ready to fight us properly. Draw steel. If I'm to take your life, I'll not do it from the shadows. But if you refuse to retreat, then ready your blades. reasons for not backing down. Hope you don't think hiding's enough to make us give up and leave. <laughs> Here I come. I'll use this. Seems the wise man. You think yourself equal to a Yuji's agility? How about this? It's happened.
Thunder. I have my message. Your fate is so heavy. I show no mercy. I call upon royal power within. You gotta aim better than that. The freedom of a wanderer. I see your game. Then my fight ends here. What are those strange powers you possess? you cast spells without igniters? What was that? We'll have our answers first. Did you really kidnap all those people from the castle town? Look around you, lad. Where would I keep the victims? Besides, I'm but one man. Kidnapping on the scale you suggest would be damn near impossible. You're saying you were framed? This case even reached the capital, you know. Why would anyone pin such horrors on an innocent man? <laughs> innocent is more generous than most of the world sees me. A Ujif drifter, a disgraced knight condemned by the Sanctists. What couldn't they pin on me? Hmm. They cast me out. Stripped my titles and put a price on my head. They would even refuse me the right to mourn my child. And thus... You held back against us, didn't you? You never intended to take our lives. Or perhaps... You could not bring yourself to kill a young man. <laughs> Just didn't want to make a mess I'd have to clean up. What do you think? Is Heisme really our kidnapper? I don't think he's the culprit. I agree. That being said, it is also hard to imagine the town maintaining a groundless bounty so faithfully was the Holy Lady who named the price, and the guard captain who thereby took it to the capital. To end this as a case of mistaken identity would disgrace their word. You think they must have had a reason to suspect him then? So, what's really going on here? Sounds to me like between the guard corps and Heisme, one of them could be lying. Remember when we first arrived? We almost got killed by a beast they told us would be asleep. You cannot be suggesting the Guard Corps set us up. Absurd. No, it, it defies all reason. They went to such lengths to place the request. So you think I'm the one lying, do you? Like I said, we don't make assumptions. If there's anything else you know, we're listening. You're a strange lot. Fine. Investigate this as you see fit. And if you think I'm guilty by the end of it, put me in chains. What's the matter? Never tied up a captive before? Give it a rest, old man. You'll make a better guide than a captive. Otherwise, the human makes a meal of us, and nobody wins. A strange lot indeed. And... Oh, my God, a foul-smelling one to boot. Ugh, don't remind me. Sorry, but you'll have to bear with us. Don't mind me. 
If the charges prove false, you should be cleared. Still, we'll have to find a new head to be judged for the competition. Then we'll just find whoever's actually behind it and have their head instead. Let's contact Barden tomorrow, but we'll keep quiet about Heisme. Can't tell if we can trust the Guardsmen yet. What are we going to do with Heisme tonight? We can't exactly set him up at the inn. Steady on! You're not leaving me to watch our bounty alone! Fine. Then Nurus and I can both watch him tonight. Better us than risking our candidate, I suppose. Never would have guessed that the bounty hunting was part of this plan to take the throne. And further, you've a Lady of the Knighthood with you. Not to mention command of a gauntlet runner. I sense there's more to this story, hmm? The truth is... We're going after Luis. Luis? The monstrous child himself, eh? So you're not just grasping at power. You've got conviction, but now the throne's in anyone's reach, eh? Suppose the king's magic wasn't just a myth. Well, hardly matters to an old codger like me. No telling if I'll even live to see the next king crowned. This is all jolly cheerful. And I'm to be stuck between these two old goats the whole night. Don't blame me, lad. You volunteered. Those are some sharp ears. We should probably watch our words in here. <sighs> hey! All right, then. Shot, he says. Young man, hey! Then... Pleased to hear that. Oh. Let me perform for you. to hear that. Oh. Hmm. What now? Oh, shy, this ass. Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you. Oh, dear me. Pleasure to see you. Oh, dear me. Would you want... I'm in trouble now. Don't say shy, mm. this ass. Good night. Time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. I dreamed we were being chased around by a horde of giant sandworms. I barely got any rest at all. I hope Heisme behaved himself in the Gauntlet Runner. We should go check on him later. We also need to get some information out of Barden. But how do we even bring it up? Are you awake? Barden just sent word. A few children disappeared in the night. Wait, but Heisme's in the Gauntlet Runner, right? If he's still bound there, that basically proves he's innocent. We need to get to the Runner, quick.
Where's Stroll? Speak, man. Are you all right? Where's Heisme? Ah, oh, you reeks of alcohol. Nurus, you old sot, don't tell me you drank yourself to sleep. Uh, well, uh, Heisme was blathering on about some things I found rather unnerving. So I, uh, a little sup of the spirits to calm the nerves. Wow, what a mess. You witless. Maybe some cold water will wake you up, and if that water's not fixed yet, you're really in it. Now, ah! oh, what's all the commotion? was it. He kept scaring me, so I stuffed him into the lavatory to shut him up. He says that like it makes sense. Does it make sense to you? He doesn't drink and drive, does he? If you dare touch a single drop on the road, I'll toss you off the runner's back myself! Anyway, one thing's for sure. Heisme was tied up the whole time. So he never set foot outside, right? What's all this about frightening Eurus? I cannot imagine you suddenly felt compelled to share ghost stories. I heard some strange sounds last night. I could tell they were footsteps, but not any I recognized. If it had anything to do with the disappearance of the residents, it could prove my innocence. That's why I spoke up. I don't think he's lying. With all that fog, I couldn't find the source of the footsteps, but I found plenty of something else. Children's shoes. It was after midnight. No time for children to be out and about. I had the shoes checked at the guard station, and it looks like they belong to the missing children. Then it is likely those footsteps belong to your true culprit. said no one left town last night. Nobody left? But that must mean the culprit is... Inside the town? I'd like to talk to Barden, but how much of this should we share with him? If you ask me, it's time to lay out all you know. Taking me with you might help your case too. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. To bring you before the very man responsible for the bounty on your head. I trust I need not illustrate the risk. Risk or not, the real culprit's likely one of their own. If you hide me, they'll accuse you of harboring a known criminal. You all have 
had it right. It's time I faced reality. A life on the run leaves no room for me to truly mourn my son. How is May? Whatever the case, let's meet with Barden. Well, I must say I couldn't hope you'd capture him so swiftly. Something wrong. You don't look well. Got a face like you've just stumbled upon a dead man. No, it's nothing. Just surprised you caught him. Aye, you have my thanks. Clearly we were right to trust you. You'll get your payment in full. Before that, I want to ask you one question. Why was Heisme the only suspect in this case? Hmm? One of the guard witnessed him firsthand. Go on, Morris, tell him. On the night of the kidnappings, I spotted a Ujif bolting into the wilderness several times. No mistake in a squat figure like that. I'm telling you, what are the chances of there being two Ujif brigands in the area? Hmm? What did you say? Strange. I don't recall the kidnappers' tribe being listed on the bounty poster. Even the captain seemed surprised, yet you alone knew this. He's obviously our culprit! Most strange. Heisme was already in our custody yesterday. In other words, the kidnappings of last night cannot be his doing. Is this true? Captain, I'm one of yours, aren't I? You're not gonna trust this little red-eyed bastard over me, are you? There's also the testimony from the guard at the gate. He reported no one coming or going from the city. You... you scabby bounty hunters think you can mock the guard corps like this? Just take your damn blood money and get the hell out of here! Fine, fine, keep your hair on. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Is there a problem here? Barden, may I interrupt? Um... No problem, ma'am. Was that? Did you hear it, lad? No. Now I see your game, you fiends. What? He's gone! Heisme! Find him! Secure the exits! Don't let him escape! No good. He's nowhere to be found. What's gotten into Heisme? I got the impression he sent something. If he'd meant to escape, he would have done it yesterday. I think Barden's innocent in all this. The real scumbag here is Morris, his second in command. He framed Heisme with a false eyewitness testimony. He must have figured an exiled Ujif would be a perfect scapegoat. So Morris, a would-be guard of the people, has been kidnapping the residents and selling them off. Could be. And there's also those footsteps that old Heisme heard in the night. Nurus is bound to have sobered up by now, right? Let's see how things are outside and get back to the runner. Are you coherent yet? I didn't take you as the sword to fall so hard into your cups. Ah, well, an icy bath like that would freshen anyone up. And tell us again what happened last night. It may be our only clue to tracking down the real culprit. Ah, oh, bla. 
bloody hell. Yes, it's coming back a bit. It wasn't just Heise May's reports that shook me. No, I saw something. It was right after I slung Heise May into the bathroom. Out the window, I saw some massive shadow moving through the fog. It wasn't any beast or man of this world. It was a dark messenger, I tell you. A spectre from the very bowels of hell. It was like the horrors of every fairy story from my schoolboy days sprung to Stygian life. I was shaken, chums. Shaken to my core. I cried out for help, grabbed for something to steady myself, and all I found was the bottle. There, there. You're all right now. Even if there is some monster behind this, how would it connect with Morris? I don't see why he would be compelled to hide this to the extent of framing Heisman. True. Let's try investigating the lady's old castle. Heisman's bound to have a reason for bolting off like that. Right then. Isn't that what is it? What now? All right then.
Let's go. Bait moving already. That thing goes out of control. Will be dinner. You can't run from us. Please help. The child yet lives. Out of your jurisdiction now, aren't you? You're trespassers down here. And that means anything that happens to you is your own damn fault. If you've got something to say, say it to our faces. Even you must feel the weight of what you've done. Eyes up. Something stirs in the back. Are these the monsters we heard about? No. Further back. Tis the footsteps in the night. The bigger that beast back there grew. The more its watchdogs start changing with it, one of them's gonna make a million. What has been happening here? Why do you kidnap the residents? Why? Because premium mates worth a fortune. I couldn't live on the wages of a guardsman forever. You kidnap children for money? You utter scum! This from a bloody-eyed Eugene? Look to your own sins, sir. You were just stripped of your knighthood. You were exiled. You're a coward who's been living in the hole you deserve. Didn't pretend you can play at justice now. You foil! No, it is true in part. Tis why I stand here now. I ran from my past and turned away from my pain. You prey on innocent lives. Your sin will be repaid. Yet I cannot condemn you alone. Not when I could not see past my own suffering. Not when I locked myself away to be alone with my pain. O oh, Lodestar, hmm? who falters in memory. O oh, thou anguished traveler. Thy long stagnant stance have finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Choose? Hm. My choice is already made. You can't erase your past. All you can do is take it in hand and reshape your future. Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Whose light reveals the king's own path, awaken. I am Heisme Noctul. I believe the arc of life depends not upon birth. By these hands, soiled or sinless, I fight!
started fighting with us, and even he awakened to his power. Perchance it is through your influence that this power passed to him, Captain? Oh, is this what Moore was talking about? Young man, you seem the most adept with this magic. I will strike at your direction, if you might spare it. Rest assured, I once stood among the Shadow Guard, and the years have not dulled my edge. No! Now we strike you! It's up to you now! Rancor! In the name of Ju- uh, Tougher than I thought! We'll do this together! Not this. Let's go! Is everyone alright? Magic Knight! Run you through! Only a flesh wound. Hit an arm! We'll team up! My heart and soul are one! Not bad. Nice. I feel stronger already. got away but the children are safe good you've saved them Heisme <laughs> you know that I used to have a child of my own my son he was killed I could not even protect my own flesh and blood who could call me a knight? Since then, I've wondered what I had left to live for, and found few answers. Is that why you lived in such a dangerous place? That you might be... We need to chase down Morris first. He said something kind of weird back there, didn't he? Regarding the watchdogs? He said they gradually turned more horrific the more the monster grew. Do you think that's the effect of the melancholia? I expect anything further in will be even more malformed then. But why root all this in the basement of the lady's own domain? Clearly, someone is invested in Morris's efforts, but who would finance this? I can't say for certain. Still, from the very beginning, this has felt beyond the realm of any sane, moral person. And to think this started as a simple bounty contract. We've set foot in something far bigger, I think. Let's get these poor youngsters back to Baden for now. Sure. You saved the wee ones' lives. We can't thank you enough. It was thanks to your help, too. I know this is difficult to hear, but Morris had a hand in this the whole time. He confessed as much to us. 
Aye. I found out the man's been struggling to pay off all manner of gambling debts. I'll round up the guard and search the whole bloody castle for him. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you'd be outmatched. However, it would be a great help to us if your guards could prevent anyone from leaving the grounds. Considering everything, I can't help but think the Lady Joanna's got to be in on this somehow. But the woman is a respected sancturess. Besides which, she's the one who funded the initial request. I'll tell you this. Hard as we've looked, we can't find a sniff of Lady Joanna herself. We're here for our own reasons. Whoever we find down there, we're not going to stay our blades. Any objections? None for me. Do as you will, and I'll trust in Lady Joanna's innocence. Indeed, for all we know, the culprit may be holding her hostage. I, too, have a score that needs settling. I cannot let these atrocities continue, especially not in my name. I believe in you. Considering we're due in Oceana in a matter of days, we've little time to tarry here. Our foes may be strong, but they're also trapped like rats in the basement. We'll use the old well to get in and out. All right, then. You know... Don't say mm. shy this time. Good night. Sleep, lad? Was it... that a novel there? Don't see many carrying those around. Bit of an odd question, but... What's your real aim, as a group? To tell you the truth... We're a secret organization. Really? <laughs> Well, you are not very organized for an organization. In any case, suppose it's not my place to ask. Don't worry, lad. Just water. Back where I grew up, there was nobody like you lot. We've never been accepted by other tribes, and tis no mystery why. We're nocturnal. We look worlds apart, and there's so few of us. Not enough for any political sway. Our elders only ever thought of short-term alliances, loyalties changeable as the wind. We relied on their power, not ours, and resigned ourselves to that. Oh, I loathed it. Even as a child. I hadn't been cowed into considering myself lesser. I honed my skills, that the city's majority might accept me. And I'll not say it was fruitless. I was accepted into the knighthood of the royal capital. I felt like my fellows and strangers alike accepted me as an equal. Fool that I was. They never really wanted me among the true knights. Just in the Shadow Guard, where my deeds were dirtier and kept secret. Equal and lesser in the same breath. Ultimately, once my superiors realized I wouldn't abide their self-serving orders, they stripped me of the title I'd fought for. And little by little, I lost everything else. My son died. I'd failed to protect him. 
And despite everything I felt, I'd resigned myself to being powerless. But you know, you lot have helped me realize something. I'd thought for a long time that if I wanted to feel accepted, instead of being the eternal outsider, I'd need power, status, some mighty patron nobody could defy. I wasn't really looking to swear myself to some superior. I only wanted not to be alienated for who and what I am. I just needed allies, friends. And from now on, we're friends. <laughs> A free spirit, are you? It'll be my pleasure then. The aloof hermit, Heisme. Within him dwells the virtue of the thief. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Perhaps our fates are all bound somehow. If my boy was still alive, he'd be about your age. Though he'd look absolutely nothing like you, of course. Long as we're both awake, might I have a look at that old novel of yours? So, this is a fantasy novel. This section seems to describe the Utopia's approach to discrimination. Let's see here. In this world, discrimination and inequality are forbidden by law. It is a sin to impose injustice due to one's appearance, lineage, or birth. This is the accord established between the people and the state. Well, well. What a world that would be. I don't imagine our land will get there for another century or five. Still, I cannot help but wonder whether those ideals would please an entire population. You cannot pretend that diversity without acknowledging individual differences. Some will be judged as strong, while others marked as weak. Equal competition doesn't mean equal footing. Their very aims of freedom and balance could spell doom for the striving weak. I wonder how we might ever achieve a true utopia, where everyone could be happy. If this awakened power is meant to be wielded in service of my beliefs, then, no matter who calls it naive or foolish, I will always use it to save the weak. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. So... It's in your hands. Let's 
focus. The search begins. Really? All right, then. Take a look. We did it. Hunting to you. Let's do it. Oh, this place. What now? missing what now <laughs> 